people who were hired last and five years later actually made a bad mistake. We just need to be aware of it and pray about it. Gold is all good. And these these five o'clock hires have got to be commended for their purpose and intent. Because I would think most people ask their manager who they are. They say, well, I guess I'm not going to be hired today and maybe they'll call. But you stayed in the marketplace. Those people are staying in the marketplace with you. And here they were standing in line and they read the entire whole day through. Can you imagine how, how flabbergasted they would be? How how unexpected they would be? How thrilled they would be that they, the people who were hired last, would still be able to buy for their family. Would, would be able to buy bread on the way home for their family. And again, these are probably the people that weren't used to being tied to positions, because they were the, the workers that for whatever reason they didn't like. And yet on this day, mistake, the focus of this parable is on the landowner's intent. And that is just not enough. It's just not enough. We need to ask the question, so the guy is watching them. They're, they're watching this, they're seeing the joy, and they're saying to the, their mentor back there, I bet you could do it. based on comparison with the first guy. And so when they reach the front of the line, they're expecting, I don't know, three days' wage and maybe three. After all, this is the guy's landowner, and look what he's doing. He's just leaving you on the hook for five days. But that's not where this guy is. He was fully aware of exactly what they had done. the guy in front of them did. They got four days' wage for three months, and that is just not enough. This parable teaches us that God is not asking us to do what we want to do. This parable on what we do or what we say to God. The emphasis of the parable is on the generosity of this ruler and peasant who pays all the old days as much as they can keep to provide for their family. We, we heard from the pastor this morning that this is the third time that this parable has been told. Imagine the paradigm that we live in. Again, we live under the law. Just what I said. What if God?
Thank you. 